I'm John Thompson with Guardian Project, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Guardian 2D 3D stabilizer in a fixed wing model. So to get started, uh, we have a custom wire harness here which has up to six channels that can be connected from your receiver to the Guardian. So in this case we have the aileron, elevator, and rudder channels all going to their correspondingly labeled outputs on the receiver. The gear and auxiliary one channels on the receiver are being mapped to the mode and gain channels going into the Guardian. So in this case, the mode channel on the Guardian has been mapped to the three position flap switch on my transmitter and the analog slider knob on this transmitter has been mapped to the gain channel going into the Guardian. The mode switch lets you control what flight mode the Guardian flies in, so either 2D, 3D, or completely disabled, while the gain knob lets you adjust the overall gain of the controller on the fly. So if you have an airframe that flies very quickly or has a very wide speed envelope, it can be useful to be able to trim that. Also, if you really just want to get your model really dialed in, it's useful for that as well. Now that we've got the wire harness connected up, we're just going to go ahead and plug that into this custom port here on the Guardian. You can see that it just goes right in like that, pretty nice. Then we go ahead and plug in our individual servos to their correspondingly labeled outputs on the Guardian. Uh, since this is a fixed wing plane, you'll see that there are I mean, like the outputs correspond directly to the appropriate servos. So now that we've got the model uh, connected up electrically uh, the way we want it, we can go ahead and mount the unit. And the important thing is that it needs to be mounted firmly and securely to the model. Uh, so it needs to be mechanically coupled to the model and can't have much opportunity to slop around. Double-sided servo tape is a good solution. Also, Velcro can work. Hot glue works pretty well, as well as tie-down straps. So now that we've got the Guardian mounted mechanically, solidly to the airframe, we need to tell it a couple of things about how the airplane flies, particularly what its level flight orientation is so that it can compensate for any mounting offsets and what your neutral servo deflections are. We can do this using just a simple mode switch gesture. So if you move your mode switch from bottom to up and down again, or from the top, down and up. So we're just going to go ahead and do this for real now. Okay, so I'm going to orient it so it's in level flight, and then I'm going to trigger. Now as you can see, the servos did a little twitch there, one twitch, that tells us that the reset level flight and trims was successful. So now that we've reset the level flight and trims information, all we need to do is tell the Guardian which direction to rotate the servos in order to stabilize it and how much each servo needs to deflect relative to the rest. This is dictated using the three gain potentiometers on the Guardian. The way that they work is that when they are pointed this direction, or when, when they're centered, there is no deflection on that axis. As you rotate them clockwise or counterclockwise, the gain of that particular axis is increased in that particular direction. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this in 2D mode. The way you can tell that's in 2D mode is that the LED is blinking. Now, if it were in 3D mode, you'll see that the LED is on solid. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back in 2D mode so we can see how the ailerons are opposing the roll moment. That's, that's the way it should be. But if I were to change the potentiometer the other direction, they're reinforcing the roll moment. So I'm going to switch that back, and you're going to want to do this for each axis. Okay, so now that we have the gain potentiometers 
going the right directions in order to stabilize the model. As part of your pre-flight check, I recommend that you pitch roll and yaw the airplane in 3D mode just to kind of make sure that all the control surfaces are reacting the, the way that you expect them to. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here. You'll see that the ailerons are opposing and holding a motion against the motion of the plane. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the elevator. And you'll be able to also see with the rudder, see how it is also opposing the motion of the plane. And you should be able to do this for any orientation. The uh, plane should always try to keep itself on that particular orientation. And assuming that it does this, then you are pretty much good to go. A couple other things that you uh, might want to try the first time you go flying is make sure you do a motor run-up while keeping the model on, uh, on the ground. And make sure you don't see any servo deflections or anything like that that could potentially indicate that there's something wrong with your electrical setup that could be causing problems for the Guardian. So now that the Guardian is fully configured and tested, you should be good to fly. Uh, just make sure you take a look at the manual. There's lots of additional details there, some, uh, quite a few other features that I wasn't able to touch here that go beyond what a basic modeler might want to play around with. But there's lots and lots of cool 3D features that you might want to try out depending on what you want to do. I uh, hope you have fun with it, and I hope to see you out there.